guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you this very, very warm, ready autumnal makeup look. I am so here for autumn. I've got my big cozy jumper and cup of coffee ready to feel nice and cozy for the day. So I thought it would be nice to do a makeup look today that is this. It's not like massively MUA extensive like I'm not a professional however I do really love what I've managed to do today and the colours that I've used and anyone can do this so I just thought I'd film it today and show you how I created this makeup look and yeah a few new products in there that I've not shown on here before as well. Lighting is making my hair look nice and red I actually quite like that. Spent about three years trying to get rid of that red tone and now I actually quite enjoy it. Anyway, go and get comfy, grab yourself a cuppa, and I will see you when I am barefaced and ready to get done up. So, first things first, I'm going to go ahead and cleanse my skin first. I do definitely have some oil on my face just from being out and about this morning, and I've got some fixing stuff on my eyebrows as well that I want to remove. So, I'm going to take the Garnier Micellar Water, it's the oil infused one I've picked up today. It's a brand new one. I've never had the oil infused one, but it does say it's very good at removing waterproof makeup. So I think that'll be good for any of my brow set and stuff that I have as well. So I'm just gonna take that on a pad. My skin looks quite red, especially over here and then round all these parts where I've been breaking out. Um, because I've got very, very sensitive skin. As soon as you touch it, it goes very red. So that will soon settle down, but I really rate that. It's actually really good at getting all of your makeup off. I'm going to prime using the Advanced Genifique by Lancome. This is such an amazing primer. It's really, really firming on the skin and it's lovely for putting under your makeup because it helps make it last that bit longer. I'm just going to drop this onto my face directly so I don't waste any product. The cool thing is when you spray this back on, it actually just refills it for the next time. So you just need to press it when you open it. You don't have to keep pumping any of the product into the little vial that was there. So I'm just going to go ahead and take my hair out of my face. This is such a lovely, super hydrating, rich serum for your skin. It's lovely for under your makeup because any of the dry areas that sometimes your foundation will show up just seem to disappear with this. It's really lovely. I've already got lashes done which gives me so much less work to do when I'm doing my makeup so the first thing I'm going to do is conceal. I'm going to go ahead and use the Perfect Match Concealer. I've got this in the lightest shade I think. It's number one in ivory. It is super light which I love for making my under eyes look nice and bright. So I'm just going to take a little bit of that under my under eye here like so. It's super super creamy which I love. It's very very easy to blend it. And then I'm just going to take on any of my little spotty spots that I keep picking and making worse. I'm really terrible for that. I think that with the change in seasons, my skin does have moments where it's not at its best. But then I think it's a bit of a healing crisis as well, especially if I've had some nights out. Well, that is attractive. Um, especially if I've had nights out, any like drinking nights, I do get really spotty the next week after it. So yeah, that's just my excuse and I'm sticking to it. I'm going to take a brush and just quickly buff that into my skin a little bit. It just really kills a lot of the redness that I've got. Like I say, my skin's really, really reactive to touch. So that kills a lot of that. I'm going to take the Lancome Taint Edol Ultra Wear Foundation. This is a lovely matte finish in the skin, but definitely very buildable. I've got it in the shade number three. Um, it's quite light at the moment because I'm not very tanned, but it's such a gorgeous foundation so I'm just going to take this onto the skin. I only use maybe about two full pumps of this but it is super, maybe two and a half. It is super blendable and definitely you can build this so if you've got a night out and you're looking for a foundation that kind of is easy to blend but you can get it really full like you just had your makeup done then this is a really nice one to get. It just, oh, it smells so good. Am I the only person who loves like the smell of makeup. The smell of foundation just makes me feel some kind of way. This just blends, look how lovely this blends, it's so easy. This is the best selling Lancome foundation, it's their popular one. Um, but there is actually a new one that's just come out because I met them the other day, them for a coffee the other day, and they were just explaining to me that they've got a new product. It's basically this foundation, but in the kind of more everyday sort of, Basically it's like a combination between 
a tinted moisturiser and a foundation. It's like a hybrid between the two. It's so lovely. It's not quite like a BB cream. It's more like a foundation but just much, much more coverage. And I'm definitely interested in trying it. So if you'd like to see me do a review of that and compare the two, then let me know. I'd even do that over on Instagram for you. If you're not good with foundation, I honestly think this is so easy, this one. It just, you can't really ever do it wrong. Once you put it on your skin, you just move it around to the brush and just kind of stipple that in at the end. It just gives you that really nice airbrushed finish. It's stunning. And it's so light reflective as well. I mean, look at that. I've not got any highlighter on, nothing. I've only got advanced Jenny Feek underneath this and that literally looks like I've got highlighter on. It's great. That's my foundation all finished. Really gorgeous skin, nice base. And I'm going to go ahead and use my Anastasia Beverly Hills Creamy Contour Palette in the shade Cinnamon. It is the best contour colour. It's not too cool and it's not too warm. It's somewhere in the middle and it's just perfect for giving myself a wee bit of a contour on a creamy kind of consistency. It's really, really nice. So I'm just going to go ahead and take that onto my cheekbones. Since we're going for a more warmer, autumnal, sweater wearing, like this kind of season of the year type of look, it is nice to make sure that the skin looks nice and warm. So this cinnamon colour just really helps to give me that look that I'm trying to achieve. People are still really scared of using contour kits and palettes, but I think if you're going to go for one, that's a really nice one to try because there's that many different shades on it. Mine is very well loved, as you can see. Um, but yeah, there's so many different shades on it. There's actually a foundation colour in there as well that I use sometimes. But I've had mine for maybe about two years now. It's probably up there. Um, but it does definitely last you. And using the remaining product, I'm going to take that onto my forehead, just using the same brush. Okay, now on to my bronzer. I'm using MAC Give Me Sun. Do you know what I think is quite... Maybe a wee bit boring but quite refreshing is that I often use a lot of the same things over and over in makeup videos and in everyday makeups and it just goes to show that you actually don't need to have stacks and stacks of stuff as much as it's lovely and I really do love buying makeup but you really can use the same things every day and just get a different look from them. Makeup, if you work with it properly and you just give it a few options then you can kind of make it go a bit longer and not have to buy as many things. I know a lot of people are being super conscious about having excess stuff which is a great way to be so um, I actually use that bronzer as an eyeshadow colour as well sometimes which is great really good thing to use it for take a little bit of the Life's a Peach blush by L'Oreal and just take it onto my cheeks this is such a good colour because it's kind of one of those ones you can wear any time of the year it's not it's not season specific and then to finish off the skin, of course, I'm going to go with some highlight. This is the Illamasqua OMG Highlighter. Really amazing. I've had it forever and it's still, still doing me some good service. So, I'm going to take that onto my nose. Just a tiny, honestly, the tiniest bit on my nose. Like, I don't want to cover a large area, but I do want to get quite a lot of product on it. So, just on the end of my nose like that. Just easy. A little tiny bit here. And then just the rest of it, I'm going to try and split it between my cheekbones. I don't really want to go super duper highlighted on this one. Because I think I've already got a nice shine from the finish on the foundation. And also the primer still coming through. It's nice. So I'm going to just use a little bit. Yeah, that's enough. Just going to blend that in a little bit. And then take it onto my Cooper's bow. And everyone when they do this always talks like this. Because you have to. <laughs> and that's me sorted on the highlight, don't want to do any more than that. Quite happy with how that looks just now. However, I'm not going to do eyes first, I'm going to do my mouth, I'm going to do lips because I think I look a bit crazy when I'm like this. Got a bit of a tash going on. Where be? Well that was embarrassing. I've seen it happens as all, so see if you ever get a bit of a tash going on. We all have it. As dark haired girls over here, we, we can't help it. It's just one of these things. Okay, so lip colour wise, I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Infallible Longwear Lip Liner in the shade 204, I believe. I look bloody scary. Ready because I am ready. Are you ready? Because I am ready. How good is that? Are you ready? Oh, 
Look at that little gemstone. How nice is that? Buzzing. So this is the Kiss Me Ruby lipstick by Lancome. And... I know. I am obsessed with that lip. I absolutely love it. Love the finish of that because it's super hydrating. But it's not too glossy. It's just perfect. It feels thick on my lips, which I love when you can really feel a product on. Um, but yeah, this was on me yesterday and it lasted so long without needing topped up. So this is the number 03 Ruby Cream Kiss Me Ruby Labs Le Rouge by Lancome. And they have so many of these. They are absolutely beautiful. The packaging, I mean, do I need to say any more? Really, really nice. But I want to give you a wee tip. So I kind of find when I am doing a bolder makeup look with a big bright lip like this, that it's actually better to do my lipstick first and then work on my eyes. Because sometimes I just feel like it can be over the top when you do too much eye and lip. So maybe I'm just boring, but I kind of think that is the easiest thing to do. So I'm going to go ahead and do my eyes now. But before I do, I'm going to just actually do brows. But new and exclusive news, just got this today. It is the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper. I got this in shade medium dark. It's just this little spoolie here and it's actually supposed to add volume and depth to the thickness of your brow. Basically, mascara for your eyebrows. Which brows, big and fluffy and thick and bushy, are so, so in trend. In trend, on trend, wow. In trend, on trend <laughs> uh, at the moment. So I think that this is such a good thing. If you have been an over plucker and, God, that sounds like an insult. You're such an over plucker. <laughs> And this product is lovely for that. I had it on this morning and really, really liked the way that it looked. But it adds a lot to the brow. Can you just see how much kind of more definition that's given my actual eyebrow hairs in comparison to the other? I'll do a little kind of side by side in a second. But I am going to just brush mine completely upwards. A bit more like a kind of werewolf. Because um, I think that looks nice. Nice and fresh and a wee bit kind of, don't know, fashion-esque. Fashion. F A S H U N. I'm obsessed with that brow. How nice is that brow? Seriously, I'm going to actually trim a little bit that's a bit too long. Just grab my scissors. Look a wee bit nuts. So I'm just going to give my trim. I don't know why this has become a hair removal video. It really wasn't my intention between that and my moustache. Right, so again, here is before. And here is after. That just looks great. What a great wee product that is. Obviously I've got microblading done, which helps massively. But I just think that brow, I've not even had to line it. I've not had to do anything. Not that I ever have to do that anyway. I don't ever really need to fill them. But my actual eyebrow hairs kind of leave a lot to be desired. So, yeah, here we go. Next one. Fluffy, natural looking brows. Love them. It just really gives more frame to my face, which I think just looks much, much better. And now we can move on and do the eyes. This, honestly, is like the one palette I always reach for. It's utterly amazing. And if you still have it, then obviously, you know, I'm going to link it. So, I'm going to go ahead and first of all, grab a nice flat brush and take just a neutral, which is helpful if I show you, just the middle one here and go over my whole lid just because I have got a wee bit of product on it. Be very helpful if I zoomed this in. Next I'm going to take my Morphe E30 brush and go in with this gorgeous orange boob right here and take that all over my crease and then up towards the brow. And insert your favourite football team at the end of that little chant there. And then going in with this deep red at the bottom, I'm again going to take a little bit and do the exact same thing, but not work it up as high as what I've done that one. Keep this more like crease and slightly onto the lid. And then using a smaller brush, I'm going to take that lovely red tone under the eye. 
And then I will smudge that out using a darker brown. So I'm going to take one of these gorgeous tones here on a nice little smudger brush underneath my lash line. I also want to grab some of that darker tone that I've got on this palette. It's literally the darkest brown that I've got. And then just work that into the crease and then kind of overall give it a nice big swoop. Very quickly correct any of the fallout that's happened from the eyeshadow. To be fair, it's never actually really that bad using this palette, but I've got a few wee bits to do, so I have to just give them a wee fix. And then I'm going to take this Superstar by Superliner L'Oreal Liner. I'm going to take that onto my lash line. Now, you have to be really careful because of my false eyelashes, but I don't really want this to be a big lined look. Just to kind of give me that thickness at the base of the lashes that I need. So I'm going to take this on my side. And I find holding the mirror down here so that you can really get close into the lashes, it helps hugely. Rather than holding it here and trying to work above, it's just harder. So I'm going to take that and then I'm going to just stop at the edge. I'm not going to flick anything out just yet. And anyway, I'm happy with that line, which I am extremely. I'm just going to quickly go over it again, which is like Russian relax, because then you can mess it up. Then I'm going to go in this corner here and draw a little light upwards. And then just slightly wing that out. Then I'm just going to spray it down and use my Kiko Milano Mama, face. Yeah? I'm my best friend. Oh, you're my best friend too. I love you. And now I'm going to take you outside into the hallway because I feel like when you see it in the natural light it's very different to seeing it through the lighting so I want to show you how the makeup looks, how it looks on the skin, um, obviously my skin's not perfect but I really feel this has made a huge difference to my complexion. really really like the way that it looks, like the way it's turned out, it's nice and warm, nice and autumnal, got my cosy jumper on, I'm feeling all the vibes. So yeah guys I hope you've enjoyed watching this video and seeing how I created this makeup look and all the products that I used. Anything you want to know will be below in the description box so make sure you click down there to check out all the products and I will see you guys very soon. If you're new please do hit subscribe and stick around and see you next video. Bye bye.